Before I do anything else in this video, let me say this. If you are a Candace Owens stan, or Candace Owens herself, since she's apparently commenting on regular people's TikToks about this subject, if you are here and you're going to get upset about me critiquing Candace's takes, let me remind you what she says in the very clip I'm about to go over. And if I'm wrong, again, educate me. Say I just want to be educated in the comments. Well, I and many other people are here to educate you. You said you were open to it, so take a seat. First, you cannot be in a public-facing job and get mad when people criticize you. You said what you said in this clip. You said it, you recorded it, I assume you gave it the okay to be broadcast. But I would hope someone who has the experience that Candace Owen has understands that not everyone is going to agree with her. If you don't like being critiqued for your opinions, write those opinions in a journal. Also, full disclosure, I'm not going to play this entire clip because she repeats herself a lot, but I'm linking a video below that shows the entire clip from my mutual live. Anyway, let's get into the video. This one is just a fun topic because I saw this. I don't know why this is a targeted ad on my Facebook. I want to say this. I swear there's a Facebook conspiracy against me. They intentionally send me ads that are going to make me angry. Yes, Candace. I'm sure Zuck's minions take time out of their day to send you personally targeted ads. It is not automated in any way. Then again, you are talking about Facebook on your, I assume, popular show, so maybe they do do it on purpose. But this ad came up and I just went, really? Are we really doing this? Is this what we needed? Take a look at this. So it is a Skims campaign and she's in a wheelchair. In a wheelchair and it says Skims, made for everybody. See, that's all I'm gonna say is really. Is it? Cause there's like three minutes left of this video. So I think you're gonna say more. Really understand how far we're gonna take this inclusivity thing. I really, if I'm wrong, again, educate me today. I just wanna be educated in the comments. Spoiler alert, she did not want to be educated in comments. If people that are in wheelchairs were thinking as they were looking around, like, you know what really upsets me that I've never seen a bra and underwear advertised with a girl in a wheelchair. Why did they do this? I don't know. I oh, oh, I know, I know because the underwear being advertised is not just regular underwear. It's adaptive clothing, which is made for people with disabilities. From what I understand, it makes them easier to put on, take off, adjust, and more comfortable to wear if, I don't know, you use a wheelchair. In fact, there is a commenter on Candace's video telling her that he uses a wheelchair, and because of that, he has to buy his non-adaptive pants two or three sizes bigger so that it's comfortable to wear for all of his waking hours. Other features of adaptive clothing include one-handed zippers, magnetic buttons, allowing room for prosthetic limbs, and Velcro in place of things like shoelaces. Like, Candace, do you just not want handicapped people to be able to dress themselves? I don't know why this needs to be done. I'm just getting tired of this all inclusivity thing. It's then give up your show. It has been only a few decades that Black people have the rights that you have now, Candace. And I know you don't believe this, but even with those rights, there are a lot of disadvantages that Black people have to deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. Without inclusivity, you, a Black woman, would not have a show. No inclusivity, no fame for you. It's ridiculous. I mean, we're gonna be on crutches. And like, well, how come we don't have a girl that's broken her leg on crutches also in a bra and underwear? Are you comparing a temporary injury to a lifelong disability? That seems pretty tone deaf. Look, I assumed that people that were in wheelchairs also have to buy bras and have to buy underwear. I didn't know that we needed to see that in our face. Okay, first, she's still missing the fact that this is specially made clothing. You can't just go to your local Walmart or Victoria's Secret and pick this stuff up. So because of that, it makes sense for someone with an actual disability to model the clothing. And also the model is Scout Bassett. She's a famous Paralympian. So this is also a little bit of stunt casting. A lot of big brands use stunt casting. That's why you see like Zendaya and Jennifer Aniston in commercials. People like those two women. Oftentimes they want to be like them and what could be better than buying the product they're telling you makes them the way that they are. Now, this is the most telling part of the segment. I didn't know that we needed to see that in our face. They're just saying the quiet part loud at this point. People like Candace want things like ugly laws to come back. For those of you who don't know, ugly laws were present in a lot of US cities from 1867 to 1974. San Francisco's ugly law read in part, it is illegal for any person who is diseased, maimed, mutilated, or deformed in any way so as to be an unsightly or disgusting object to expose himself or herself to public view. The Charity Organization Society ironically wrote, pauperism is a disease upon the community and it must be as far as possible removed. By that, they didn't mean like helping people get out of poverty. They meant just like 
just stay in your house. And the fact that Candace doesn't understand that this is adaptive clothing backs this theory up even more. She thinks that Scout Bassett is wearing your regular old underwear and she does not want Scout's handicap in her face. This is the same reason why people are upset about plus-sized mannequins. You want fat people to work out and lose weight, but then you get upset when workout clothing is made for them and modeled on bodies that look like theirs. As a plus-sized person myself, I look very different in yoga pants than someone who's a size 2 does. And it's really nice to see how those pants might look on my actual body. But people are able to couch their prejudice against the plus-sized mannequins by saying, oh, it's, it's about health. We don't want people to be fat because they're unhealthy. But they can't say that about a disabled model because Bassett didn't do anything to become disabled. She didn't eat herself into being disabled. Bassett it was handicapped by a chemical fire and it freaks people out that they could go from not disabled to disabled in a matter of seconds. So they would prefer that disabled people just, just go over there so they don't have to think about it. Candace says that she didn't need to see a disabled person in a bra and underwear because she assumed that people in wheelchairs also have to buy bras and underwear. Okay, so since we don't need to advertise obvious things, I guess commercials are a thing of the past. I know what a diamond ring looks like, so Kay Jewelers can fuck right off. Oh, you came out with yet another heart necklace? Why, are you trying to be inclusive of seasonal styles? Candace says no. And not only do we not need a disabled model to show us underwear, we don't need any model to show us underwear. I've been wearing underwear for 30 plus years, I know what it looks like. No more need for adverts, this is gonna make watching TV so much better. When I see stuff like this, I just go, whose idea was this? Was it your idea? Okay, you're fired. Yeah, I'm sure Kim or the Skims team is going to fire someone who created a line of adaptive clothing for an already popular brand that will then bring in millions of dollars and thousands of new followers. But here's the best part. And by the way, I think people in wheelchairs will back me up on this. I think they're on my side. They are not on her side. Even fans of hers who are disabled or have disabled loved ones are telling her to shut it in the comments, albeit politely. I have no idea why Candace thought that wheelchair users were going to side with her on this rant. Let's, let's all just agree today on Tuesday to stop being stupid. Well, it's been two weeks since that video came out and Candace has yet to stop being stupid and I do not have a lot of hope for the future. Oh, and also Candace, you're looking a little shiny. Did you wanna borrow my foundation? Wait, what do you mean this doesn't work for you, you need another color? I'm so sorry, that's inclusivity and you don't want that. That's all for Candace's video, but let me wrap mine up by showing you a few more comments from disabled people that disagree with Candace, just cause it's fun.